Okay, my love, so, um, you know, the first thing that comes when I look at you mm -hmm. is Middle East. I, I, I take you in the Middle East and I see this man who looks very Middle Eastern and I think his name is either Amir or Samir or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he just looks like, like Saddam Hussein, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Incarnate. Does he ring a bell? Yeah, because my dad looks like Saddam Hussein, so it could be oh, okay. my, my grandfather. But my... this is not somebody alive. So if, that, if your died. dad looked like his dad, then that's who I'm seeing. I look but I'm seeing him. he died young, in my opinion. I don't know if we, you remember we that. We never met him, so, so that, we don't know. That already says something, that probably he died kind of young. But handsome, actually, very very male, dominant male energy. Well, you know? he he lived in Panama, and um, he actually he had my grandma locked in the house, and he wouldn't let her out. And she was like 15, 16. I mean, back in those days, mm -hmm. all I know is that he was a man with a lot of money, always very dressed powerful. really nice, very powerful. But uh, the dominant energy comes from power. Yeah. And she escaped. And she escaped. She, she was pregnant. She escaped. She took a, a bus to the eight-hour drive to her family's house, yeah. had my father at her family's house, and she never told my father who his father was, so he Where doesn't even know the name. Where are the five kids? Who had the five kids? Where are the five children? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I have a brother. I have two brothers and one sister. Two brothers and one So you have four kids. Was there one kid that didn't make it in this world? So there is an, there's something about the five kids, so you, was, you could have, could have had another, another one. Could have had another, yeah. I don't know. Um, My mom won't. Tell you're me. very, very, very psychic. You're very intuitive. You see things. You have interesting dreams. You have dreams like this. Yeah. You see colors. You see uh, flashes of, of colors, lights, and everything. Mm -hmm. But you have um, an issue with um, projecting the best in you. Do you agree with me? Projecting the best image of yourself. Do you agree? Mm, explain to me more. In in, in a sense of in your love life. You, you need to present yourself in a certain way, and that's where you're having a hard time doing it. Does that make sense? Could be, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm torn about where you're going with your relationships. Do you feel you're stable in your relationship? Because I'm no. not feeling that way. I have you know? no stability at all. Yeah, I feel like you're I not, feel and alone. I feel like you don't know where you're going. And this is, this is at least in the last six years, so it's going on for a while. It's going on for a while. You want to fix this? You don't know how. There was a man in your life when you were really young. We can go there to that place. Do you remember who I'm talking about? I should say that could have been your first lover or the first person you felt something. Yes. And that was a karmic thing. So that seemed that came from a past life. But you, you were never able to process that. So going back in time to that moment when you were really young and wanted to be loved, but something happened there. And since then, you carry that memory, that impression, that mm -hmm. energy that is manifesting in every single relationship you have with the people in your life. Yeah. So uh, we need to erase that, get rid of that, so you can finally be your own self in terms of people coming. There's a man coming into your life. He comes from now on to the spring. He's also kind of brunette type of... Uh, Latin, Middle Eastern looking. You attract that. It has something to do. You, I don't. I have a hard time seeing you with a lighter hair, American looking type of guy. Yeah, I don't like no, those, no those are not the people you will attract. You know. Um, I attract a little bit of everything, all ages. So you know, but yeah. it's very hard for me to get serious. Very with established. Ha, works in the financial business. Uh, actually, very good for you. Again, past life is something that you've been waiting for a pretty long time. Uh, you will know intuitively, you have dreams, you will have dreams, you know, you, have, you project that. You, we talk about premonitory dreams, mm -hmm. dreams when you anticipate something is going to happen and that's what's going to happen to you. You will have dreams about this man and right after that, you will be able to really see him in, 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 his, re in, in his real form, like incarnated, mm -hmm. like he comes into your life. Um, the name Robert comes to me. I don't know if he plays any role. If somebody, or is the name of the guy I'm seeing, but this name comes very strong. Um, and an S initial. I keep on seeing a big S. If if anybody with an S name plays a, a role in your life, if you know any or anything that oh, might my, have my the owner of my company. Yeah, it, you took the words out of my mouth. If you know anybody that you can work with that has an S yes. initial. It's because so this cool. has a lot to do with where you're going with work. You put a lot of energy in work. A lot of your energy goes towards work in the years ahead. But as we're meeting this other man, you will shift that energy around and put effort into your own life. 
I think you try to release some of your emotions and you try to put energy into work more than you were supposed to, if this makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Do you live in a condominium? I live in a townhouse. In a townhouse, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see that in the years ahead, you're going to buy a property that is more in land and has a lot of land around. And you love animals. Good, because I don't way. like having neighbors and no, no, I no, like no. That's what I'm secluded. saying. I don't see you into that place. <laughs> right. It just looks more like an apartment because it's a townhouse. But I do see right. you in a place that has a lot of land around. And you will also have a daughter. I think that's going to change a lot, you know, your inner self, you know. Mm -hmm. The way you'll be able to express yourself will come by, by the motherhood. The motherhood is something that you will need to, to do in the years ahead and be very happy about it. Uh, I also see you changing a car. What's wrong with your car? Uh, I'm bored with it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's an expensive car, all the repairs. I'm just like, I just want to trade it in. Yeah, else. trade it in. It just needs to be traded. It's going to leave you in the middle of the road, by oh, the way, God. on a highway. So <laughs> don't do this to yourself. Just and it's get not an of... old car. I mean, it's, it's, no, it's, but it's not. Years old, you know, but, yeah. you know it's just, it just happens sometimes with these cars. You never know. Yeah. But I have a strong feeling that you need to get rid of the car. Right away, it's a lot because of things I want to change and yeah. get out of my life. And including the car that you drive, including that. I, I think you should keep the place at work, if you agree with me. I don't think that's something you, you need to change. And not at least right, right. away. Mm -hmm. Not at least. Uh, um, I think the change of residence is tied into the man that comes into your life. So when the man comes in, then you together are going to plan the, the big place, the land around, the everything. Um, and um, I also think that there's something in the chemistry of your body that you need to work on. Like I have, uh, you know, a very strong sense of the sugar being a little bit at the limit. Do you know that? Okay, have you ever checked your insulin level? Yeah, I had um, some blood work done a little while ago, but that was like two years ago okay that was a long time i hate time going ago, to the doctor so. Is, yeah so i'm not saying you have a disease because you're healthy don't get me wrong mm -hmm. i think that there is do you like sweets do you eat something carbohydrates pasta? i was eating a lot of soda but i cut that out but i don't okay. really like sweets whatever that has much. has sugar in it yeah, you know i need to cut out that you need to cut out cut on the sugar a little bit just to get it's something that um we're not aware of it, you know, when we eat and whatever we eat. So there's something in the food that you eat that you need to, to watch at the intake of, of the sugar, okay. the sugar level. It's going to help you overall. It's going to help yeah, you. Yeah, I know I need to lose weight. So. It's, not, it's not only that. It's not only that because the people that are heavy and they don't have the sugar coming. But in your case, for some, there's some little bit of an insulin resistance that I... I cannot prove, but if you'll do your test, the recent one, you'll, you'll find that I'm right and actually bring you to your awareness so you can change this. It is something that you can easily change okay. because you'll never have actually diabetes, but it's something that we can. Prediction is to prevent. You prevent things from happening if you are told, pay attention. So mm -hmm. you reprogram the mind in a way that you, you, you're going to stop doing the things that you did uh, unconsciously and they were not benefiting your, your, your health. Um, I see the, this guy, I'm very thrilled with this new man coming into your life because he brings you a big ring, so I like that. He's generous oh, like and him. he's kind, you know. <laughs> he's going to be good to you. You ready? The time is now. Um, as I said, um, somebody's not well in your family, and that's a female figure. Do you have a grandmother who's old? Who's old? No, both of my grandmas are, are uh, gone? passed away. Okay, who's then the old woman that I'm seeing? Is, is this somebody a like spirit? a... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely seeing an older woman. My great grandma. Yeah, yeah. Who's who's ve who you look like? She died like. at 106. Who you look like? Who you look like? You look I, like her. You have some something from her from the pictures. Well, my of grandma the face. died when she was 40, from my father's side. Very young. I only have one. Black was and there white. any similarities? Because the person I see, there are similarities. Maybe the cheeks. Similarities I mean, in, the, in photo, the features of the face. Like, like sideways. I well, really of course, see. if she died long so long time ago, you might not know, but I actually see uh, yeah. a woman in the spirit world, and she had a son, so I, that must have been... My dad. Yeah, that must have been your grandmother. Mm -hmm. She had only one child. Was that your... No. She that had is not her. Kids. That is not with her. But my grandmas on both sides had a lot of kids. That I'm not with her. Yeah, so there's somebody else. Is. There's somebody else. I saw them because I, I felt the spirit walk into my room. I was mm -hmm. really sick. Mm -hmm. I was by myself in the house, and all of a sudden, I felt somebody sit down mm -hmm. next to me, and they pulled the covers over my feet. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, my God, what, what just did that? Because I didn't know if it was good or bad. I was trying mm -hmm. to figure it out. And then they pulled the covers over my face up to here. 
And then they sat down and then all of a sudden I got really, really sleepy. And then I started seeing lives and things and I spoke about it with a friend of mine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, she, and then I got my cards read like the next day because mm -hmm. I wanted to know what did I just experience? Was that a bad thing, a good thing? No, it was it a memory me. that was activated and, so you and remember what has happened to you. I, and some uh, of the things that had happened to you don't actually want to remember because they were not good. I hate to say that. Some of the things that I some saw weren't bad but I, I, I haven't seen any bad you stuff. Have, but, not necessarily yeah. bad. You had difficult lives. Lives mm -hmm. with, the, with the, a lot of uh, heaviness and diseases and things that happen to you that you don't want to remember. The, one of the reasons you say, I don't want to hypnotize because you don't want to go to that place, to right. whatever happened to you. You mm -hmm. don't want to bring that to the surface. It's actually good to bring it to the surface because you will, uh, you will erase them. Uh, but overall, what matters for you is that you have a new beginning, that, that it's just from now on to the spring, things will turn around into your life and finally find the stability and you were looking for. So look for this guy with the R name. So this, this man who's in the financial business is around your age. He's also darker complexion, brunette, and you're going to, it's, it's a, it's a soulmate relationship. You're going to have a feeling of knowing him from the day you see him, you will feel like I know you. And then you're going to have dreams of him before meeting him. That is all gonna. Well, how will I run into him, or will I see him you, while I'm working? You, it's or? it's through the. I think it's through the work. It's through the people you know. I think you'll identify him. Uh, there's a, there is a person you work that has a name like David or Daniel. Look for the person with Danny. the D. Daniel. Who's Daniel? Yeah, he he's my graphic designer. Yeah, the my Daniel office. guy will introduce you to this to this man I'm okay. telling you about. Yeah. Interesting, because he's like a really heavy rocker, very yeah. different from. Yeah, but he, he, but, he, yeah. he will introduce you to this guy. Somehow the situation will be created and you will... You will oh, uh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Then it's going to be great, my love. Great. Thank you so much. Oh, I love you, I really sweetie. You're so beautiful. It.